Welcome to Chrome Face 52 Transformer Review. Today we have the knockoff KO Sunstreaker from AliExpress. If you haven't seen that video, check it out later where I uh, unbox all that crap from Timu and AliExpress. So, first things first, the box. The box is, uh, of course, is a, I guess you could call it a replica of the G1 box. Um, this box is actually very high quality. You can't even really tell that it's a, uh, that it's a knockoff box. It looks very well printed. Um, I, of course, don't have a clue what the differences are between the G1 box and this knockoff box to be able to identify it. Um, because this Sunstreaker, although it is a KO, is my first deluxe G1 Transformer. I'm babbling. Chances are I'm going to cut a lot of this out just because, you know, I don't want you guys to get bored. Um, right off, first thing we notice, he has no Autobot symbols or any other stickers. Um, there should be an Autobot symbol on his foot and on his chest. We don't have that. What the fuck? Um, the second big thing is that this actually is all black rather than, uh, rather than the red that for some reason he always was i don't know why he has that red mark but i i totally prefer this black this makes more sense in the grand scheme of things though i think when he's transformed it should actually be gold like the rest of them all right now that we have that he does come with the three firing missiles and two hands and i will tell you he does fire So as you can see from that, it does shoot pretty fast, pretty hard. Still not enough to knock over Dollar Store Megatron, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Now, by the instruction, the original G1, these are supposed to come out. Right there, and, and it's supposed to fire these as well, so does it work? Yeah, works just as well as everything else. Walk it through the transformation. Of course, you remove the hands. I'm going to go to the back. Flap down the back piece here. Okay, I'm going to move the, the feet in. And slide them together. Okay, keep that back piece kind of floating there. We can shove the feet up, lift the whole torso up, we can pull the seat out like this, keeping the canopy up, we drop the seat down in between the legs there, and then we can close the canopy, and that hole is secure, the head can go down, and the whole top is done, flip them around. Uh, I don't think it matters which one goes top, which one goes bottom. <laughs> so we snap the shoulder into place. The forearm actually uh, tucks in real nice there. We did the same thing on the other side. One thing I will point out real quick is this. This gets real tight right here. And it snaps, but it feels like it's going to break when you do that. So be careful there. Okay, we pull the forearm in and we slide them down so they're both secure. Then we flip the, the chassis back up and what we have is a very gorgeous Countach. There he is. There is KO Sunstreaker in vehicle form. And he does have rubber tires. Just 
just like the original. And unlike modern Transformers, don't let other reviewers lie to you. They do not roll. This guy does roll. Matter of fact, he rolls hard. So here he is next to modern day Sunstreaker. Really, really not much difference there. I, they really kept a lot of the theme, making him very cartoon accurate compared to to the original toy so yeah great update to the classic figure at the end of the day this KO is I would say G1 quality uh, of course I don't have the original G1 to compare them to but I, I do believe the quality is there at the end of the day the quality is there Maybe you get some repo stickers or whatever if you want, or you can just leave them as is. Up to you. But, yeah. Is he worth this price? At the end of the day, I, I, I don't know. That's up to you. And if it fits into your budget or not. But, yeah. For a KO of a 40-year-old figure, his quality, the quality's there. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and all that. You know, comment below, help feed the algorithm. Chrome face out.